Welcome to Faith Re Revival Holiness Church, also Faith Revival Place International. I'm the host, Mr. Prophet and Jameis. Let us begin in prayer. Father, we love you, cherish you. Father, we pray for all the walls, modern walls that the politicians and Hollywood and corporate news media put in people's life. I pray for those walls to come down, but, all, but the wall of righteousness and goodness to come up in each individual's life. That way, when these politicians, Hollywood and corporate news media, and they put their garbage on, the people bounce right off their walls of righteousness and goodness. And we thank you, Father, and we praise you for all things. In your holy name, amen. Father, I, I pray, I pray this day that people understand the value that you want to put in their lives, that they don't have to live in the wallowness of what this said or that said, and realize that there's so much more uh, that you have all around us. The birds praising you with their song and testifying, all the animals, all, everything. And, and I pray the, the biggest wall, the most ugliest wall of all walls, the walls of, of looking at the shade of your color, your skin, will drop. The most darkest walls the devil has ever put in humanity of division is the walls of shades and colors. We are all from the same people, Adam and Eve. We need to stop proclaiming this one's better than that one because of this color. That's all a bunch of garbage. We need to all be part of Adam and Eve like we're supposed to be. We're all the same. Just because we have different shades of color means that we were in our families. We're in the sun's the sun a lot or not, not very much of the sun, making it very light skin. Shades of skin does not make your, who you are. We're all the same race, darn it. Just start acting like and appreciate our differences and be good to one another and stop this walls of divisions that we all have in our lives. Amen. So let's begin um, this Miniature Sermon, the Tree of, 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 of Wisdom Literature Series today. And we're going to go, and the study uh, is called the Tree of Wisdom, calling you forth, calling you forth. Amen. God is calling us forth. And it's, we're going to look at two thoughts today. First one is Isaiah, Yeshua, the Delivering God, 49, 1B through 3. 1B for 3, a 49 of Isaiah. Let's get going and go over there together. Grab your Bible. Hurry up because I'm about ready to read it. Okay, here we go. Yahweh called me from my womb because I was born. He had spoken my name. He has made my mouth like a sharp sword while hiding me in the shadow of his hand. He has made me like a, sh a sharpened arrow while considering me in the, his quiver. He said to me, you are my servant, O Israel, through whom I will show my glory. He wants to show his glory through humanity. He wants us to be and understand what we truly are and not what this fake stuff that always goes on. If people are being fed by all these fake leaders called politicians, these fake Hollywood and the fake news media, everything in the world is fake. It's not the real thing. It's a camouflage of what the real thing could be. And they don't understand it, but they're going to understand it now. Because God is calling us to a higher life with him, not to wallow in the mud no more. Let us go to Psalms, to Helam, chapter 119, verse 1 through 9 through 112. And the word of God speaketh and saith, 
your words is a lamp for my feet, a lamp of my path. I will swear an oath and confirm it, that I will observe your righteous rulings, O God. I am very much uh, distressed, and Yahweh give me life in keeping with your words, in keeping with what God's words. Please accept my uh, mouth's voluntary offering, Yahweh. God wants us to speak his ways and not be afraid. Amen. Please accept my mouth's voluntary offerings, Yahweh. Teach me your rulings. God wants to teach us through his Emmanuel spirit. Amen. I am considering taking my life in my hands. Yet I have not forgotten your Torah. We cannot forget the good teachings of God, my people of the earth. The wicked have set a trap for me. Yeah, it's called the politicians. That's the trap, biggest trap, and nobody sees them. Yet I haven't stayed from your precepts. Now the trap is going by all these stupid parties, or what Hallwood said, or what this one said. How about what God says? How about looking around at nature, what it's saying? Huh? Okay. I have taken your instructions as a permanent inheritance. We have to put a permanent inheritance of what God's word says, amen. Because it is joy of my heart. I have uh, resolved to obey your laws. We've got to exalt it in our hearts. We're going to obey God's ways. We're going to obey the Lord God. And when we do wrong, we're going to repent, right? Like Peter and David did. For Forever, at every step, every step we take, we're going to remember there's a bigger picture out there. It's called God's world he created for us to enjoy and, and understand there's more meets the highs and then this, the shadowness of it. we got to go deeper. we got to go deeper. It's, too, it's so easy just to go shallow and lukewarm all your life. And most humanity, 99% of you, have gone lukewarm on Everything around you, both naturally, spiritually, and mind, mind, mindly and emotionally, you have gone lukewarm. It's time to get out of lukewarmness, all human beings, fellow human beings. And it's time to come to the round table. It's, there's more to life in, the, in nature. There's more to life in the spirit. There's more to life in, in, the, in the emotional and in, in the, in the mind of thinking. There's more. Are you going to stop being shallow, stiff-necked, and lukewarm 99% of the world? Or are you going to come to the round table and realize when a bird chirps, they're praising God. They're, they're testifying. They're, they're talking. They're scolding maybe another bird. But they're having a good time. Are we going to allow the animals of creation to secede over us? By not realizing that we need to testify of God. We need to uh, lovingly correct our families. We, we need to uh, go and testify of the greatness of God. Amen, too. We need to, to see the deeper things of life. Amen. We need to know we have a purpose and we have a plan. And that's what this is all about. Knowing we have a purpose and a plan. Amen. God loves you. This is why this is being brought. Because God loves you so much. Now, you Arabs, Jews, Christians, indigenous people, islanders, mountaineers, it's time to get right with God. It's time to get saved. It's time to get right with your creator. Yes, many of you Christians might have the word Christian, but you're not saved. You're far from being saved. You got to get saved. Christians, you got to get saved. Jews, you got to get saved. Arabs, you got to get saved. Islanders, you got to get saved. Indigenous and, and, and people of the desert and the mountains, you got to get saved. You got to get right with your creator. You can't just say that you have this name and then you're, you're saved for that name. You got to be saved. You got to be that. And for far too long, Christians, Think they're all saved and are not. 
for far too long. Arabs and Jews, they think they're saved, and they're not. Let's get saved by Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach. Just don't, just don't go by the Gentile name. Jesus, his name is Yeshua. It's Joshua. It's, the Y becomes a J. It's so far removed the other way. It's a shameful way to go. His name means the power of salvation. It, it means that he is the power behind all salvation. Amen. But he that is only his earthly name. His heavenly name is Yahweh. Because God is one God. One spirit and one way. Let us go by that way and become the way. Through the guidance of Emmanuel, which is Yeshua HaMashiach, both image and spirit of God, and, and present our holy ways of, of bound before the Lord spiritually and, and say, Lord, we want you. We want you, Daddy God. We want to be more and more like you and less and less of what everybody else is trying to make us. And that is a true way to go, a true way to be. So let's get saved. Pre repeat this prayer, Christians, and get saved. Repeat this prayer, Arabs and Jews, Islanders, you know, indigenous people, desert people, mountain people. Let's get saved. Let's get saved. Pray this prayer. Dear God Yahweh, I ask you into my spirit, soul, and body. As Lord and Savior of my life. Love you very much, Yeshua Jesus. Amen. Congratulations for today. If you called yourself Christian, now you're real born again. You call yourself a, a Jew, now you're truly a Nachin Jew, my fellow brother. If, if you are Arab and you got saved, you're a holy Arabic people and you're truly on the right path. Amen. If you're an islander, you're, you are a joyful saint of uh, islander of the Lord. If if you are indigenous people, you are a uh, sanctified indigenous people that serves Yah. If you are a mountaineer, you're a mountaineer that has the joy of God's salvation. Amen. So congratulations. Welcome to the family, God. God loves you. God has a purpose for you all. So just start doing what God wants and less of what the politicians want because their stuff is corruption and vomit and everything of foulness. There's very little good. But when you have one that says they want to be a leader and they stay that way, you got something good. You better hold on to them. But when they say they're a politician, you want to run the other way because they're no good. They're scoundrels. And if they're not, there will be someday because they always wind up as scoundrels. And they always use that division thing of Democrat, Republican, Libertarian. That's all garbage. We need to put on our ballot, stop calling them all these names, and just put their names on there. Stop having all these different party names. There's only one party we need to have, a celebration with our fellow lower things in life, like birds and all that, and praise the Lord and, and be good to one another. Be really good to one another. And, and raise your family up in the righteousness of God. Make sure the kids are not doing too much wildness. And, and they're following some code of ethics that you bring down to them. And the Holy Spirit will help you with that stuff. What do you think the Holy Spirit's here? Our man who will, he's here to help us. He's here to guide us as parents, as, as, as people that are learning to be good and holy and everything. Help us in the kitchen to cook. Help us. Uh, down the street, do our job good. And all the other things, help us with the groceries that we don't have a big bill at the end, hopefully. All these things, the Holy Spirit is there for to help us. So let me end with the Shalom prayer. I hope this encourages you, but also 
uh, lovingly corrects those that need it, need it as well. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Honest, it brings peace to pass. His own city, nothing said, never broken. Complete peace of God. I'll leave you. God bless you. The Lord keep in all his ways and shine you and bring you rest. It's time to be the Joshua, David, Peter generation. Amen. Hooah.